Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens, which is where you are now, where we do inky things and pens and crinkly paper. Today is a pen. As you can see, it is an Omas pen. Omas is no longer in business, which is really sad because they did really cool pens. And I'm gonna share one of these really cool pens with you. <sighs> Massive box. The box really doesn't matter because it's discontinued anyway. Oh my God. This thing is like, honestly, like a murder weapon. It's so heavy. Move that out of the way. I didn't throw it. It's just on another pile of boxes. Omas. What I do like is all their packaging was consistent, but it doesn't matter because they're not here anyway. Uh, it has a bottle of Omas and it has an Omas sleeve. And underneath this particular thing, which I liked about their boxes, they had a little display and on the other side, there's also a display. So that's really cool. Paperwork, whatever, you don't care. It doesn't matter because it, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter because if you're gonna buy one now, if you get the box, great, and you might not get the box depending on where you get it. So whatever. Are you ready? Uh, you already know what it is because you've seen the title card. Bum, bum. It is the Omas 360 in arco bronze celluloid and they were super limited there's 50 of them i believe is that what it was 50 and um, 50 in rose gold trim rhodium trim and gold trim this is rhodium trim it's a triangular pen with not super sharp corners they are slightly rounded but it's pretty obviously three facets that's it it's a large pen. Honestly, I don't really want to talk about how the pen compares in size to other pens uh, because it doesn't really matter. Uh, you're not going to go buy this pen. I just wanted to share it with you because I think it's cool and I have the opportunity to do so. And uh, oh no, sorry, they weren't 50 pens, they were 36 pens. Oh my gosh. Not 50 was the LB5. I'm getting confused. Sorry. 36 pens in each finish. So the Arco Bronze Celluloid is. I think it's really pretty. Some people love it. Some people just don't care. Some people prefer the Verde, which is totally fine. I, I don't know. It's, it's like, it's one of those things. You like it or you don't. And it has certainly gone up in price. Like, it's crazy out there. And, um, you know, if you want to get a 360 in this particular finish, they're, they're not inexpensive. So there's, there's that. But it's a piston filler. They are just really pretty. The front, the sides, it looks like business in the front. Um, I love their clip. Smooth, it's just like low profile. The real like cool part is the back where the full facet really shows off the material. This is just with my light on. and. I think it's cool. Like, it's not, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, give up my firstborn for it. Well, I might. Oh my God, sorry. <laughs> it's, it's really hot in here. I'm gonna have some water. Well, you know, uh, yeah, I might give up my firstborn for it. I don't have a firstborn, but it's a cool pen. And there's really, nothing much more to say about it. I just wanted to share it with you because I think it's a cool pen. Sorry about that. I went because I realized I need ink. So we're going to ink. Oh, we're going to dip because I don't want to have to clean this thing. Well, yeah, it's got an extra fine nib. Why am I so weirdly colored? There we go. It's an extra fine nib. It's 18 karat, but it's an Omas extra fine, which is a very special type of extra fine. I mean, the writing doesn't really matter because it is what it is. But let's do some fun writing anyway. Um, oh, okay. What you need to know about Omas nibs is like, they're to die for. 
even the extra fines, which I generally don't care about extra fine, like it is so nice. If you've seen my turquoise video, the Omos 360 turquoise, I basically go on and on about the extra fine as well. And it's just so unreal. It's so hard to describe, but I always thought the triangular pen would be like ridiculously uncomfortable. This pen is insanely comfortable and this nib is just to die for. So I'm going to just shut up. We're just going to write a little bit because I think that's the best thing to do in this scenario. Divine. Let's change up that angle get more up close and personal. that was fun just a fun video it's it's fun for me to do these kind of videos because I get to enjoy writing with the pen and sharing it and I think it's cool so if you would like to chime in below I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Omas 360 the celluloid and just what are your thoughts like do you think it's a pretty pen do you hate it is there something you would like to see from Omas like no, that did. what's your favorite Omas? That's what I'm thinking. Thank you so much for watching. This is just a fun video, lighthearted, make you smile. I appreciate you and I'm so glad you guys are here with me. Take care and we'll see you next time. Bye. Weren't that nice? Weren't that pretty? No filter. Just, just the sun coming in. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Business in the front. Party in the back.